this was actually a spectacularly difficult show for me because I practically did the show out of my hospital bed. I was under drips and medication and so we were doing music at the hospital. The superintendent had to come and say that, you know, you guys need to leave. Well, I was doing research on uh, chandeliers for my new store in Bombay and I got very inspired by Firozabad where all the glass work is done. And I wanted to do something which had a lot of cheap sequins, a lot of tinsel, a lot of very bright metallic work that I normally don't do because my work is quite toned down and I wanted to do it on unusual mater material like canvas, gabardine so our lehengas were made out of canvas this time it had a little bit of a Wimbledon meets Maharani kind of a feel you know people think that I steep my clothes in nostalgia so I wanted to do a train which was very nostalgic where all it was like a ghost train where the passengers would be from another world but the models would be from the new world completely disconnected the styling was modern i think the brand got a lot more sexier with a lot of cleavage you know we built a lot of bodies on which we draped our couture clothes from razor slit high petticoats to to very sharp bodices but the whole idea was to make it look sexy without making it look vulgar so this is the kind of show that takes your breath away, I have to say. I mean, it was really a beautiful journey. I mean, you felt like you were on an old train and traveling in Sabia's little world. I think the textures, the colors, the, the vintage greens and the pinks mixing together, extremely nostalgic, but yet totally a sign of modern India.